Okay, number five, the most common type of um, um, skill or strategy that we want students to have, and if they don't have it, this would hold them back in their word identification, is the use of uh, self-correcting and, and context clues. So really, self-correcting, it's a byproduct of using context clues. When you see a student self-correct, it means that they, they come across a word, like let's say in this picture here, they have this sentence, pet goldfish, right? And instead of saying pet goldfish, they, they pause. You see that line that says they pause. Every time you see a pause, it means they're not so sure what that is. And so they're going through in their brain rapidly uh, many different word identification strategies. Like, what is that word? Now, they don't get goldfish in the beginning. They say pet, pause, goalish. And, and what happens in their head when you see that, that C there, it means they fix it. They go goal it, goldfish, right? That means self-correcting. Now, self-correcting isn't a skill. It's a byproduct. It's a byproduct of them going like, hmm, pet goalish doesn't make any sense. And so their mind and their, the wheels in their mind turn and it says it doesn't make any sense. So they start to look for context clues. Those are surrounding words that help us make sense of a miscue. So I'll say it again. A context clue, or more specifically, a semantic context clue. These are surrounding words that help us um, self-correct a miscue that doesn't make any sense. In this sentence here, pet goalish doesn't make any sense, but um, pet goldfish does. So the word, the word pet, I'm trying to match it up with the camera. The word pet is our semantic context clue. Pet goalish doesn't make sense, but pet goldfish does. So they use pet as a sort of a hint to what this unknown word is. So that's a semantic context clue. And there's other things like syntactical context clues. Those have to do with grammar clues. So, so anyways, we, we will look closer at these, but, but know that um, self-correcting, if you see self-correcting, this is definitely a, um, a byproduct of using context clues, both semantic and syntactical context clues. We'll take some time, look a little deeper on this, but you should know that this is very common on these open response case studies. On your essays, you'll see a lot of self-correcting. And anytime you see that, it means that they're probably using some type of context clue to identify the unknown words. Okay?